Welcome back. Well, there's a blood moon on the rise. People around the world be able to catch a glimpse of it tonight when the moon ducks into the Earth's shadow. This will be the second blood moon, also known as a lunar eclipse uh, of the year, and the last whopping one hour and 43 minutes, making it the longest one this century. But the eclipse's impressive length also means that the moon itself will actually look a little smaller and dimmer than usual. Now this is because the moon will be as far away as it gets from the earth on its elliptical orbit, making the moon appear smaller. But the moon also moves uh, more slowly uh, when it's that far away. Now for us in India, the estimated time for the eclipse to start is about 11.44pm tonight and the total lunar eclipse is expected to begin at around 1am. From 1.15 a.m. to about 2.43 a.m., the moon will be in the middle of the Earth's shadow and will appear reddish in color, which is where lunar eclipses get their blood moon nickname. It will continue till about 4.58 a.m. Uh, this morning. My colleague Ravi in fact spoke to a young amateur astronomer to find out more. Listen. For more on this, I have Ravi with me in the studio and he has got a special guest who is an amateur astronomer, in fact, tossing across to him for more. Thank you so much, Shruti. Yes, as you rightly pointed out, I've got an amateur astronomer over here. His name is uh, Praveen Surya Banshi, but I think he's behaving like a Chandra Banshi today because he'll be watching the moon this evening and he has been watching the moon for a while. Now, for a person like me who is very bad in science, uh, the basic understanding says that uh, a lunar eclipse happens when the Earth comes in between the sun and the moon. Exactly. And that is exactly what will happen tonight, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so these are some visuals that we have courtesy NASA, which pretty much explains how a lunar eclipse is or how it works. Today's happens to be very, very special. Before I get down talking about the lunar eclipse, uh, uh, Praveen, let's actually flash some interesting details that we have in terms of why it is one of the biggest in the century, moon to pass through the middle of Earth's shadow that will happen tonight. Longest total eclipse until 9th of June 2123. So clearly the longest lunar eclipse of the century. In India, it will be seen for about 6 hours in totality from the start till the end. It begins at about 11.44 if I am not wrong this evening. So, 6 hours is you know span when it is beginning from uh, penumbral eclipse. Okay. Till the end of Which the is going eclipse. over my head. You will yeah. have to break it down for us. <laughs> yeah, definitely I will show that. Okay. So, here you know that the speciality of today's eclipse is that so as you, as you mentioned, you know, it is going through the middle of the shot of the earth, right? Right. But it's all about the game of shadows. Okay. So that, that defines, you know, how long it is going to be. Hmm. So before that, let's understand. You're still talking like a professional. I want you to talk like an amateur because I am an yeah. amateur and I have viewers, many of them who are moon watchers, you know, yes. might not understand the entire phenomenon. So why not start from the beginning? What yes, let me explain about the moon's orbit around the earth first, then we can go in detail. Okay. So, uh, you know, you know uh, let me show my... Laptop to you. Okay. The simulation of you know it's. Uh, if I could ask my director to actually plug in the visuals of the laptop, I think yes, brilliant, fantastic job. Okay, now you can explain. So here you can see, from left side you know we have sunrise falling on the earth, mm -hmm. as well as you know we have moon in the middle. Right. So uh, we know that you know moon is orbiting the earth. So at this position, moon is not visible to us, right? Correct. Why? Because you know. The sunlight is blocked with the moon and we cannot see the moon, the daylight part of the moon. Hmm. So whatever we see is the night side of the moon, hmm. which is not visible, that's why, that's why we have new moon, okay, right. at this position. Hmm. So as moon is orbiting anti-clockwise hmm. around the earth, you can see, you, we see slowly the faces of the moon, right? Right. So why? Because we will start seeing some part of light which is falling on the moon. Hmm. As, as days progress, let's say at this point, it is after seven days of new moon, hmm. so we see half of the moon, hmm. that is called first quarter. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Why? Because you know we are not able to see entire moon's face, right? Hmm. So we will be only seeing this particular part of the moon. Right. And the other part is being being blocked by the shadow. Correct. And as it is orbiting the Earth, hmm. it comes to this point. Hmm. Okay. Where we see full face days. of the moon after yeah. 15 days of new moon. Right. But you see, so that you know, is the full moon. At this point also, yeah. Hmm. The Earth is in between sun and moon, right? Hmm. But eclipse is not happening. Hmm. Why? Because you know these are not aligned in straight line every time, every full moon day. Brilliant. So it is on the lunar eclipse day that yes, all three of them there are, are special days. The same line. Exactly. There are, okay, go there are on. special days that can happen like you know at twice a year. Hmm. So uh, you know that will you know where the you know, shadow will be falling on the moon. Hmm. And if after full moon again you know it is progressing in its orbit. Hmm. And after let's say seven days of full moon, hmm. you see other half of the moon. This is called third quarter or last quarter. 
Right. So again, you know, in its orbit, again it's coming back to new moon position, right? Correct. So this is the so that is the normal typical, cycle of the moon. Typical cycle of the moon, which yes. lasts for about 30 days. Correct. Precisely 29.5 days. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now here the question is mm -hmm. about lunar eclipse. Mm -hmm. So solar eclipse can happen when moon is sitting between Earth and Sun, right? Right. So this is not the case. Mm -hmm. That will be topic for next. It's the reverse. Yes, it's the reverse. Mm -hmm. So when moon Earth is sitting between Sun and Moon, mm -hmm. then you know its shadow can ha can fall on the moon. But this is not happening every full moon day. Hmm. Why? Because you know they are not in straight line. Right. And the thing is, you know, the edge shadow is covering very narrow region in space hmm. through which you know moon is not moving every time. Hmm. Why? Because it is little bit having an angle inclination hmm. with respect to its orbit around, around the sun. That is called ecliptic. Hmm. So that is about five degrees. Hmm. So if it is off five so degrees, just for the benefit of our viewers or people yes. like me, so let's assume that the sun is somewhere here, the yes. earth is somewhere here, moon would be. Yeah, let an angle. It, it so it is not angle. falling in the straight line. Let me show that also to you. Okay. So this is the moon's inclination. This is the actual simulation of the moon and Earth system. Okay. Okay. So those are the scales. You know, those are the sizes to scale. Okay. So as you see, this is the orbit of the moon, which is speed up. Mm. And you can see, you know, as moon is orbiting, it mm. is not every time crossing the disk of the line Earth, of right? Yes. That blue circle represents the Earth. Mm. The, you know, the grey circle represents the moon. Okay. As it is orbiting the Earth, mm. you see every time it is not crossing the disk of the sun. Correct. Right? Okay. This view is from sun, mm. as you are seeing from the sun. Right. So, whenever you know it is crossing the disk, you see about the zoom image, right? Mm. Here. Mm. So, here you see the zoom image, mm. where you see the moon will be crossing the disk of the earth. Mm. So, at that point only the eclipse happens. Mm. So, here the... On your representation, moon is uh, actually speeding, but that is not the case. It takes about a month. Exactly. So, okay. here you can see the months right below. It is passing through months in few seconds. Right. So the yellow region, what you see is that is a period where eclipse can happen. Okay. So that is a period when the moon is crossing the disk of the earth when mm. you see from the sun. Mm. So which means at that point of time, mm. the shadow of the earth can fall on the moon. Okay. Right. Mm. Now it's all about the game of shadows, as I said before. Okay. So how it is going to take place? Let me show you in another slide. Mm. So here is the representation of the sun, moon, and earth, you know earth system. Mm. So where you can see the shadows of the moon and sun here. Again, right? if our director could actually go full screen on that particular visual, yes, that gives us better understanding. Okay. Yes. Mm. Now here you can see the blue. Again, represent the earth, mm. the grey is moon and sun is you know, in yellow color. Mm. So here you can see the shadows of the mm. you know, moon mm. and sun, as mm. moon and uh, earth, right? Mm. So you can see there are two type of shadows there. Mm. So one is in darker, one is darker, one is little bit lighter. Right. So the darker shadow is called umbra, mm. umbra shadow, mm. and the lighter shadow is called penumbra. Mm. So which means that whenever we have light source which is bigger than the object, mm. so then it can form these kind of shadows. Okay. So let me show you that, you know, mm -hmm. let's say when I am bringing earth very close to sun, sun. you see the umbra shadow is very much narrowed very down, small. right? Yes, obviously. So the penumbra shadow is very much more. Mm -hmm. And if you see the... I moons, think if the earth comes closer to the sun, obviously the convergence would be much more. Yeah, That's definitely it is not going to happen, right? Right. You know, it is orbiting at the same distance. Right. 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 Whether it is summer or you know, winter, mm -hmm. the distance is not much. Mm -hmm. So if I tell you like, you know, during winter, earth will be closer to the sun. Mm -hmm. But you know, seasons are not occurring because the distance of the earth from the sun. Right. It's because of the tilt of the earth. Mm. So that is why we have sunrise falling at different angle. Mm. So that is leading to you know seasons. Mm. If it is at, if it is because of distance, then we'll have same season throughout the globe, right? Correct. Why so we have different season and one hemisphere and other hemisphere because of the tilt of the earth. Mm. So that is a you know subject for other. But you know, That's yeah, a separate data. Yeah, separate yeah, for now it's concentrated on this. Yeah. So now, as I said, as I said, yeah, it is a game of shadows. Uh. So it depends how the moon is moving through the shadow of the earth. Okay. Right. So how it is moving? Hmm. And as I said before, there are two types of shadows. Why hmm. we are having that kind of shadows? Why? Because sun is larger than the earth, right? Hmm. So when sunlight is falling on the earth, hmm. so it will fall in different angles, hmm. right? Hmm. So sometimes rays go from here to in this direction, mm. rays will come from this direction and go this direction. Mm. So there is and a... And that is what is reflected back yeah, from the, the convergence moon. of two shadows mm. is leading to umbra. Okay. So, yeah, so, so that is... So, for my understanding, if you could bring the moon over here. Yes. Okay. So, this is the, you know... This is what will happen tonight? If yes, this will happen tonight. Okay. So, and moon is entering... Why it yeah. last longer. So, as you said, mm. six hours duration is starting mm. from this, mm. this touch. First okay. contact, I can say, okay. till last contact. Okay, so the first contact is happening about uh, ten forty-five. If I'm not wrong, eleven forty-four. So, no, no. Oh, ten forty-five. Yes. Okay, and about eleven o'clock, I guess. Yeah, that's what. As in, the so the six hours duration, I'm telling. Six hours. So this is the period when moon is entering the 
partial mean uh, the penumbral shot of the earth right okay okay Ecl you know penumbral uh, eclipse or we can call you know uh, this is like uh, this is uh, umbra right this is penumbra mm -hmm. so penumbra shot of the earth is you know it is covering the so penumbra just to of prove that i have been a very good student uh, <laughs> praveen let me explain it to our viewers obviously you have to move the moon yes, yes. as i tell you so, so it is entering the penumbra what will happen is that at about 11:44 or there about the moon will enter this zone Yes. And from here till here, we will have total eclipse, no, which will last for six hours. Yeah, no, this is entering about eleven o'clock, ten forty-five, eleven o'clock. Yeah, Correct. Exactly. Till about till about five o'clock in the morning. So yes, that yes. works out to about six, six hours. hours. So the total eclipse is six hours, and the key lunar eclipse is when the moon enters this part and stays till here. Exactly. Which will be about an hour and forty-three minutes. Exactly. I think I'm qualified to get a certificate for this one. Yeah. All so right. here you can see, you know, it is entering the penumbral shot of the earth. Right. And you know, at this point of time, you know, we go, we don't see you know uh, moon being you know covered with shadow. Okay. So it will be almost as bright as you know what we see on full moon day. Mm -hmm. But it will be like little, little bit dimmer. But you know, we, it won't be prominent actually. Okay. Like so normal days, it won't be as yeah, prominent. Yeah. Fantastic. I think that puts things in perspective. If we could uh, bring us back on the screen, then we'd be able to explain it to our audience. I think the phenomenon is fairly simple. So for a moment, if this is the sun and if this is the earth, the moon will hover over here somewhere and it will move like this. Yes. Now that movement wherein the entire shadow falls will take about six hours. Yes. And the central place wherein you have got intense shadow falling yes, on the moon, on the moon yeah. will last for about an hour and 45, 45 minutes. Yeah. And this phenomenon, I'm understanding, is happening for the first time in this century and will not happen till about 21 20, yes, 20? still in you know, next one or five years it won't happen. Okay. It's not about you know. I mean, uh, it will happen. Okay. But the length, the duration of moon moving through the shadow is longer this time. Okay. So and this is a natural is astronomical phenomenon. Yes, this is natural. Right? Pollution has got nothing to do with the moon coming. Yeah, up. we'll come to that point later. Okay. Pollution also plays a role. Okay. We see how much reddening of the moon will happen. Oh. So that will be. You know, uh, some next, other days yeah. discussed. No, we can discuss. Oh, we can discuss it. Okay. So here you can see, you know, as entering, as it is entering the umbra, umbra shot of the earth, mm -hmm. so which is the darker shadow. Mm -hmm. Here, you know, the actual eclipse starts. Okay. Yeah. So, and it is entering into its shadow completely. Correct. Yeah. This is the period when you know that is, that is happening about. Uh, uh, 1 45 I guess. So 1 hour 43 minute duration. Yes. Where that you is have where absolute, absolute, black absolute black out, black moon, black moon. This will happen. What is the time, Shruti? It will happen at 11:44 is the information that we have right no, now. No, 11:44 is at when one you know, the first one begins. Right. And I think the other one would be at about 1 o'clock something. Yeah, so first at one o'clock. 1:15 one is when total eclipse. Yes, yes. This is the period you know, when we have total eclipse. Okay. This is the right. start of total eclipse when you know moon is entering entire shadow of the earth. Right. And this duration will be till here. Till about 2:50. 12 or from. There about 43. Yes, 243. Okay. That, that this is the duration of that total eclipse period. Okay. And you know we see reddish shadow, reddish you know uh, tinge on the moon mm. because you know scattering of light mm. through the Earth's atmosphere. Okay. Now for the moon watchers, so what is it? As you are showing some visuals like before, like there is a scattering of rays, right. different you know rainbow colors being shown. Right. We can show that uh, video. That will be you know demonstration. For Absolutely. That. In fact, if my director can actually queue up that visual as well. I think people will have a better understanding. But Praveen, I want to ask you, of course, there's a lot being told about today's blood moon, but what makes it different compared to other blood moons? It's not much, much, it's not much difference, you know, compared to other blood moons. It's just a little bit longer. Okay. And a little bit longer in the sense, you know, you have uh, more time to analyze it, study it, in terms of, you know, pollution of the earth. So as I said before, you know, uh, the reddening of moon is happening because earth has atmosphere, right? If it is not having atmosphere means you know it will have perfect pitch dark shadow on the moon. Right. So when you take lunar eclipse, sorry, solar eclipse, right? Mm. In that, in you know, uh, during solar eclipse, moon shadow is falling on the earth. Mm. We don't see any reddish tinge on the earth, right? Why? Right. Because moon doesn't have any atmosphere. Correct. So it cannot scatter any light. But because earth has atmosphere. Earth has atmosphere. Mm. It is scattering the light. It is bending the light as it, as it is you know mm. passing through the atmosphere. We see, you know, sunsets and sun, sunrises reddish in color, right? Mm. It's not. It doesn't mean that you know uh, sun is converting into reddish color or yellowish color. Mm. It, it it means that you know as sunlight is entering into atmosphere, it is passing through different you know layers, right? And it is being filtered out, right? So the shorter wavelengths. So the gist of the story is that we mankind have not just destroyed our planet; we are also destroying the entire <laughs> astronomical system that is there in place. I mean, it's not the pollution that we are creating. It's not about destruction. I can say like. The more but we are causing an influence of some sort of influence, yeah. Yeah, like, yes, exactly. Okay. So we can study uh, about this, you know, uh, like, you know, uh, the atmospheric pollution mm. by studying the reddening of the moon. Mm. So it will be more reddish means, you know, we have more 
particles suspended in the atmosphere. Uh, but, uh, so you can see this visual, right? Right. As you can see, during total eclipse, you know, the sunlight being scattered mm. through that Earth's atmosphere and it is falling on the moon. Mm. So exactly at the center. Mm. So that will happen only when it is coming in the middle, not when it is entering the front. I mean, I've got a very, very basic question. Yes. And you can dismiss it as absolutely lame. But the question is, what is it that moon watchers can watch this evening because they can't watch the moon? <laughs> yeah, if, if it is cloudy sky, mm. they can definitely go online and watch uh, you know, telecasts from other countries. Okay. Moon, you know, lunar eclipse is something we can see uh, from entire you know, uh, half of the hemisphere, right? Mm. Half of the globe. So for the people of India, let's focus on our target audience. The people of India, they put on their telescopes tonight okay. at 11.43. What is it that they watch? At 11.43, you know, pretty much you won't see anything. Okay. So, after 12 only, you know, you'll start seeing, you know, moon being entered into the Earth's shadow. Okay, so, so you will see the that dimming of the moon happening over yes, a period of time. Of the moon is happening. And then there will be a complete blackout situation also when the total shadow yeah, is consumed. If it won't be complete blackout, it will be reddening, reddening as I said before. Okay. So, uh, you know, so that will happen about 1 o'clock, 1 a.m. Okay. Am. okay. Also, and if I last can interject here, Praveen, what is in fact the best way to watch the moon if it is visible in India? Obviously, naked eye. So, if it is, you know, the skies are clear, naked eye, you know, we don't need any optical aid basically. But I'm sure, I'm sorry you don't have the privilege because tomorrow morning you're doing an early morning shift. <laughs> Alright, so Shruti watching the moon is completely ruled out. But thank yeah. you so much Praveen. Wonderful having you in our studios. Let's hope that all our uh, people who are watching this particular broadcast have the experience of their lifetime because not many of us will last for another century to watch probably another blood moon. Yes, yes. So let's make it the most of this. Right. Definitely we'll have a lunar eclipse every, you know, every year. Hmm. I can say you know, two lunar eclipses every year. But every lunar eclipse won't be a total eclipse. This one is a special one. Yeah. Again, we have next year also we have total eclipse, but it, it, it is not lasting this much. Right. So January 31st this year also we had total eclipse, right? Okay. So which was you know, not again this much long. So mm. it was shorter. It mm. was less than half an hour, mm. which was visible from India. So it depends, you know, where you are located and how much, you know, uh, the duration of the total eclipse all matters. One last question. Uh, there are some superstitions uh, surrounding <laughs> lunar eclipse. You should not watch the moon yes, during yes. a lunar eclipse and all. Yes. Is that true or is it just a figment of uh, our imagination? You see, I am not eligible to comment on, on that actually because you know a lot of research being done on such kind of uh, topics. Hmm. But the thing is actually the matter of fact is like you know uh, when you talk about ancient eclipses. Hmm. So they, they didn't have knowledge of this you know moon being covered with the shot of the earth, right? Right. So they used to think that, think that you know some demon is eating moon. Oh, so they used so to that is what the superstition That is called Rahu. Rahu Ketu we call right. it, right? So Rahu is eating the moon. Hmm. They, they used to think like that. It is a demon, right? Hmm. So Rahu is nothing but the point in space where, where, where eclipse can happen. As okay. I said before, as moon is orbiting the earth, you know, it is a point. When it is coming to that point, that hmm. is called node. Hmm. So that is entering, you know, that is causing the shadow hmm. falling on the moon, right? Hmm. So the thing is, again, you know, uh, regarding pregnancy, you know, the pregnant ladies should not go out, they say, right? Hmm. So why? Because, you know, back then, you know, uh, the people didn't have any artificial light, right? Hmm. So when lady is pregnant, actually, she cannot see. Walking in the darkness. Yeah, walking yeah, in the darkness. Is dangerous. Have an so happened. nowadays, we have artificial light everywhere. You know, we are polluting the sky with light and also, you know, intensity. Right. So it doesn't matter now, actually, whether you are going out or not. Having said that, let us not challenge the sentiment of people because those who believe that it is not right to go yes, and watch the moon, know, we respect please don't watch it. We leave it to your discretion. For those yes. who are moon watchers, for those who have their telescopes or maybe fancy lenses in place, please enjoy yourselves this evening. After yes. all, it's Saturday tomorrow, so I think you've got all the reasons to party with the moon tonight. Exactly. Right. Thank you so much, Praveen. And I think uh, with that, we'll toss it back to Shruti. Well, moving on, uh, good news coming in from Tamil Nadu.